Slab. Hi, I'm Steve Adubato. It is our yeah. honor to introduce uh, a renaissance man. You like that intro? Steve Califer, uh, one of his important titles, he's the chairman of a great team called the Somerset Patriots. They are a minor league baseball team celebrating their 16th year. Uh, let's describe the Patriots. Uh, founded in 1998, five championships, TD Bank Ballpark, Somerset County. Sparky Lyle, our manager for 15 years. Former he, Yankee great. Former Yankee great, and he's now manager emeritus of the team. Now listen, the other part of your background is 38 years ago you started a little um, auto operation. A, describe that. What is that? Flemington Car and Truck Country, a family of dealerships, uh, 19 uh, dealerships, three communities. But what I always like to say is we started it in New Jersey 38 years ago in a gas station. <laughs> and I don't want to go back to the gas station. The other reason I call Stephen Renaissance Man is because he's a filmmaker as well in his spare time. <laughs> the other, we'll talk about that another time. We're here to talk about the fact that um, Horizon Healthy Plate, our partners at Horizon, at the foundation, those guys are very interested in healthy food. And I'm thinking, so Califer over at the Patriots at TD, the stadium there, TD Park, those guys are selling healthy food at a baseball game? Describe it. Horizon motivated us to open up a healthy food stand. Uh, we're a little skeptical. People want hot dogs, they want beer, they want big sodas. They came up with a menu, they work with our, uh, our in-house folks, I actually work with my son Jonathan Califer, who's an educator, and we put together the uh, Horizon Healthy Stand. We're selling Jersey fresh tomatoes, Jersey fresh blueberries, wonderful uh, home, uh, home range chicken. We now have a healthy food menu. And you ask the question, how's it doing business-wise? How's it's it a, doing business-wise? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> it's a grand slam hit out of the ballpark, and we're expanding it next year. Horizon is on the right track, and our fans appreciate it. Why do you think it is, Steve? The world is changing, and as the world is changing, we have got to stop and stand and think for just a minute and where we are going as individuals, where we're going with our diet, where we're going with our lives. And Horizon is committed to health, whether it be in all their other initiatives. But this one at the ballpark, they were right on the spot. They knew exactly what they wanted. We sat with them, and they're fabulous partners. You're not getting pushed back. I mean, playing devil's advocate. You're not getting pushed back, Steve, from some of the fans who are saying, hey, wait a minute. We're coming to a baseball game for the hot dog, for the unhealthy food. No, because they're getting their hot dogs. We have the best hot dogs, the best hamburgers, the French fries are to kill for, the chicken fingers are better than any place you'd ever have. The sausage, the peppers, the Philly cheesesteaks, great. But? But some people say, yes. stop. Stop. We don't want to be called out. We want a choice, like and we're giving them the choice. I and like the, the choice part. Talk about that. Choice in there is everything in the world, and uh, people can either go to the left of the healthy food stand <laughs> or go right to the healthy food stand and people are making a conscious choice because remember it's a captive audience for three hours a baseball team, a game That's a right. football game you can't bring food in because that is not allowed by the uh, the venue operators the, the the stadium owners so when you're there you have to make choices but we can't just have limited choices mm. we have to have healthy choices talk about the success of the team because uh, some of the numbers are pretty amazing um, draw 5300 fans per game, 360,000 fans per season. And there are a lot of baseball teams. You and I both know those teams, uh, hmm, minor league teams that have not had that track record. Some don't even exist anymore, if you will. What's the secret? The Somerset Patriots playing at TD Bank Ballpark are about consistency. They're about providing the fan experience in a clean, safe, affordable family entertainment, entertainment environment. What happens with a lot of venues, everybody's very excited when it opens up. Sometimes standards aren't what they are on opening day. Sixteen years later, we have fabulous staff, fabulous employees who work every day to make the fan experience important. And what we're really excited about, we are the only minor league baseball team in the United States that takes no public subsidy. Somerset County is our partners. We pay all the debt service, all the principal and interest. Not one dollar has ever been subsidized. It's interesting because you're very close to the New York Yankees. You have a close relationship with Joe Torre. I was, uh, we were at the uh, Joe Torre Safe at Home Foundation golf outing. I was up there. Um, and I'm going to invite you to the dinner in no November as well. Yeah, it's a great, great uh, event. And you, see, you were sitting there with Joe Torre, and I was like, wow, Caliper's close to this guy. And I realized you are connected to the Yankees in many ways. 
but are you affiliated with professional baseball team? No, the Atlantic League of Professional Baseball is independent of Major League Baseball. Explain that to folks who don't understand it. The benefit is that we can locate ballparks wherever we want in the best markets, Long Island, uh, York, Pennsylvania, Sugar Land, Texas, uh, Bridgewater, New Jersey. Under the national agreement of Major League Baseball teams with their affiliated minor league teams, it's not a free market. You can't go where the market is. You go where you're allowed to go, and often uh, you're not allowed to go where you should go. So it's just the way they run their baseball, uh, and it's worked for them. But here's the, before I let you out here, Steve, because you've been so successful on the auto side, because of the film part of this, because you're an entrepreneur at the core, what drew you to minor league baseball? I loved baseball as a kid. My father took me to Yankee Stadium. I'll remember it to the very day of uh, my last breath. And very simply, uh, I watched Ted Williams foul a ball out. I went to grab it. My father went to grab it. I thought we had it. <laughs> We didn't. I've been waiting 50 some odd years later for another foul ball. I like baseball. It's the American pastime. It needs to be affordable, but it also needs to be healthy when the fans come to a game. So, folks, uh, TD Ballpark, the Somerset Patriots, uh, Horizon uh, Healthy Plate, right? Absolutely. Go there. Uh, season starts when? The season started in April. It closes the end of this month. We are in playoff. Uh, mood, vote, we hope to win our sixth championship. And one more, t uh, the uh, website, you, you don't know what I'm saying. www.somersetpatriots.com, flemington.com, and I want you to know one thing, Steve. Yes. We're having a sale at Flemington Car and Truck Country. <laughs> this is PBS, we can't do that. He right. just, Steve just Calford just did yesterday. it, it's too late. <laughs> uh, chairman of the Somerset Patriots and so much more. Steve, my good friend, thanks for coming on, buddy. Thanks for having us. Stay right there, we'll be right back with one-on-one -on -one right after this. <laughs> One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato has been provided by Virtua, County College of Morris, New Jersey Council of County Colleges, Wells Fargo, Health Republic Insurance of New Jersey, QualCare Inc., and by the Fidelco Group, promotional support provided by the Star Ledger, powering NJ.com, and by Commerce Magazine. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.